um, yes. th this concept of mercy uh, between people, mercy to animals. I know there's many verses from the Quran and God's mercy on us. So I know there's many verses of the Quran and many hadith. And but how can we approach this really wide subject? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alayhi salatu wa salam. Um, when you told me uh, how to start, I remember the, the hadith when the Prophet was talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And actually he was saying that uh, rahmah, mercy, is divided into, I'm sorry, as far as I remember, into, into 60 or 70 parts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed us one part only in this dunya, this world. And got all the other parts, the 69 parts, for him. So this hadith tells us that only one part and, and all the kind of creatures are having mercy upon one another through this part. SubhanAllah. Just first to imagine how far Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful as you start. Yes, SubhanAllah. And how his prophet was given a certificate of being so. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِّنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ مِّنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِتُّمْ حَرِيصٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَؤُوفُ الرَّحِيمِ You know that Ra'uf al-Rahim are two of the fair names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ascribed his, his prophet, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, with these two. Ra'uf, you know, Ra'uf from Ra'fa, and Rahma, Rahim from Rahma. Ra'fa, Ra'fa is that you feel quiet at any situation, however difficult or dangerous. Okay. And you feel merciful to people. I cannot say they are synonyms, but they complete one another. Okay. Merciful. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful and he gives that quality to his prophet and at the same time telling us that this prophet is our model and our example to follow as if he is telling us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be merciful.